It was scary, actually. They, they, the way they came up was like they were almost like a SWAT team. Greg Morgiri is referring to this. A $4,000 fine for operating this food stand outside his home last month. Six police officers and three health inspectors came onto my property and basically shut me down. It was part of his Christmas display. The Diker Heights neighborhood is renowned for its decorations, drawing thousands of visitors each year. This was the fourth year Morgiri opened the stand in his driveway. He says he never had a problem before and previously donated proceeds to Toys for Tots. But after losing his stepfather to cancer last year, the Brooklyn businessman pledged $2,500 to the charity Cookies for Kids Cancer. Owning a bakery, it was kind of easy to chime into the bakery kind of cookies idea. And uh, this was a, a great idea when it was hatched and it got to not such a good idea when we opened. Morgiri applied for this certificate from the New York State Department of Taxation and Finance, but the city's Department of Health claims that wasn't enough. Releasing a statement reading in part, Mr. Morgiri had a New York State Certificate of Taxing Authority, which allows a holder to collect sales tax, but not to prepare, store, hold, and serve food to the public. A parishioner of St. Ephraim Church, Morgiri said he understands the real reason for the season. But raising money during Christmas was all for the cause. Just like the Girl Scout cookies and just like the, the, the chocolate bars in Catholic schools, you know, we're, we're, we're doing this for the good of, of, of children. Morgiri set up a GoFundMe page and still plans on donating to the charity. We're not going to leave anybody hanging or on the, on the hook for anything. We're, we're going to come up with some of the money or most of the money. In Diker Heights, Brooklyn, Tim Harfman, Currents News. Thank you.